Hello guys, welcome to Be Prime today. A video that actually wasn't planned. Uh, you know, I always have my videos planned like weeks in advance, and this was planned. And uh, it's because I actually got an email from Essence yesterday evening, and this morning I just opened up and I was like, oh, well, um, what is it? And they told me that they came out with the trend edition called the Little Xmas Factory. And uh, there were some things that I would love to try, um, but they didn't really have a lot. So I bought this eyeshadow palette and also bought a the bomb, um, which just, well, it's like this. So, nothing will be fancy there, but um, eyeshadow palettes, you know, I like eyeshadow palettes, and um, yeah, I want to see how this is. And uh, this is the color 01 North Pole Express Delivery. So, there are five shadows in, and they are quite Christmassy, if that makes sense. You know, you have a dark green in and a golden in. And a brown, so it's, you know, you can do a nice smoke out with this, at least that's what I thought. And the back says, create your perfect Christmas eye makeup with five baked eyeshadows out of this palette. Now, I think baked eyeshadows you can use dry and wet, uh, but I only use them dry, and I did swatches, and uh, you will hear my opinion on it. And I figured I could do, like, the swatch video just like Stephanie Nicole does. Uh, of course, I'm not that good, but, you know, I'm doing it, and uh, I used the um, eyeshadow base by Essence on my arm and then I used this synthetic brush by Urban Decay from the Naked Tree palette, just this little this little thing here. And um, I wiped everything off and just went on with this. So I have the swatches, first a finger swatch and then underneath the brush swatch, if that makes sense. So let's get started. I started from left to right. So the first color is a nice brownish color. Also they all have shimmer in, so if, if you're just a matte person you might not want to get this because yeah, it's shimmer. Um, it's the brown is okay. Uh, it's kind of patchy. You can see the swatch. It looks okay, but with the brush, it just doesn't look good at all. Then the next one is a champagne color. If that makes sense. Um, looks again good with the finger swatch, but with the brush swatch, it's basically non-existent. So I don't know whether I have to pat that on or just wet the brush and just try to make that work. But as dry shadows, they don't look good at all. Uh, then we have the white shadow, which I actually like. That's one of my favorites out of this palette, because, um, I mean, given the fact it is still white, but you don't really see it, um, you can use it for blending, you know, just like blend your eyeshadow in and you just have a bit of shimmer, nothing too white or too intense, but you still know it's there. And I, I like that about white eyeshadows, you know, I just don't want them to be too opaque. And this is one of my favorite colors, I can say. Then my absolute favorite color from the palette is the green one. That is just so pigmented. With the finger and with the brush, uh, they just look amazing. Like, that color, these swatches, they just look good. And yeah, that is definitely my fave, along with the white one. And then we also have the golden one. Again, that looks good with the finger, but not so much with the brush. So, and also, I will insert a little clip where you see all the fallout that is from the palette. And I think that's because they have, like... I don't know if you can see, but it had like little drops there, and it just if you touched it, it just falls off. So, yeah, uh, would I recommend this palette? Maybe not really. Uh, yeah, maybe it works better with a fluffy brush or wet brush. But honestly, I don't really have time to do all of this. You know, I just want to get ready in the morning, put some eyeshadow on, and then be with it. So, yeah, out of five shadows, I'm really like two. I will definitely give it a try, I will use it, and if not, I will put it in my giveaway, which will start soon once I hit 200 subscribers, so in case you're not subscribed yet, subscribe. And yeah, so that's it, that was my review. Uh, it's, it was four bucks, and honestly, what, what can you expect for four bucks? I mean, the packaging is nice, you have a nice big mirror, but the actual products are not good. At least I don't like them. So. Yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, the colors themselves actually look really beautiful and cute, but as soon as you apply them, they just don't look good. Um, yeah, so that was it. That was my little review, first impression. Uh, like I said, I will give it a try, uh, you know, just to see how they perform with other shadows and how they actually stay on, if they stay on. Um, I will have some different base coats with it just to see how it works and how long they stay on. And yeah, so that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.